Good afternoon, welcome back to the vlog. It's been a while, it's been a few weeks, but I am back and I am excited to share what we've been doing to the bedroom so far, so far. There are some glaringly obvious things missing, which you will see, but this is kind of what we've been doing for the last two to three weeks. We're just waiting on the mattress, which is coming at the beginning of August, so it's still in progress. But I've been shopping and with lockdown and everything, I think we've done quite well. So I'll start over in this corner. These wardrobes are actually what I had when I lived back with my mum and dad. So I think they've done really well to come down and travel, to be fair, because they're quite big, they're quite bulky. Um, they are Ikea. And to be honest, they were what I would buy if I bought them again anyway. So it's quite good. That we've got them now these are actually i don't know if they are exactly the hemnes handles um that are on the hemnes range but so they match with the bedside tables that i've already got in the spare bedroom that are coming in here um that's brent's single wardrobe of course and then i have a double so i'm very excited about that we've still got the mirror i love this detail on the mirror this is from is it JISC or JYSK? I'm not sure. Um, but I'm not sure as well if I want it on this wall because I do think it looks nice against the green or on the white wall. Help a girl out. I'm just not sure. Next is the radiator. Still wants going on. That's a job not for me yet, unfortunately, but Bren will do that soon. And then, ta-da! We have our new bed, which I absolutely love, and we have a soft headboard. We've lived with a metal headboard for so long, I am so excited for a fabric softer one now. And I like it on this wall as well, because I like it against the green paint. Now this, I can't remember what the colour is called. However, I did see that it looked familiar to a pharaoh and ball colour. I think that was pigeon. So that's the closest description I can give you right now. Um, but it's like a pale sage I'd go for. I love it against the white and then the brown as well. And we've actually got a hamper from a friend um, that will go with that door. So I'm excited to get that in here. Um, but Bren picked the colour months and months ago. And now everyone seems to be going like sage green. So I'm not following the trend. It had already happened and it wasn't my decision so there we go happy accidents and all that lot this bed is also an ottoman bed so you just pull on the tags just there and then the whole thing comes up so that is extra storage against the wardrobes which will be nice right we shall start the ikea haul i'm going to start with the biggest thing because it's already out but this is called a scub and it's one of those boxes, it's about this big, I don't know if that makes any kind of sense. Um, but it's going to have my wedding dress in it, so currently my wedding dress is in a suitcase under the bed. But if I put it in that, I think it'll just look a bit nicer and we can actually use the suitcase. So I'm very excited to one, get my wedding dress back out, but also pack it away properly. Um, my next purchase was a bargain corner find and it's two of these so i actually picked one of these up and it was three pound on its own and then bargain corner had loads of these for one pound fifty each so i got two for the same price there were things wrong with them like some had scratches on them some were missing the um white board around the edge but these two were in pretty good condition so i took those i'm actually going to put some photos in them and maybe some like 3d things around the edges just for like memorabilia and stuff like that. The next two things aren't greatly exciting, however, they're practical. So I think these were £1.50 each as well, actually. These are pillow protectors. Now, we have had terrible issues with our pillows. They're never just right, and we keep buying different ones, hard, soft, expensive, cheap, none of them seem to work out so hopefully fingers crossed we've found some decent ones now and i want to protect them at all costs so i've bought two pillow protectors 
and hopefully they'll just last a bit longer. So £1.50 each, I'd say was a pretty good bargain. Next, I'm just gonna show you the bedding all together. So we are moving from a double to a king size. So we've had a new king size bed, a new king size mattress, of course, and then we've got to buy all new bedding. So I bought the fitted sheet that goes on the bottom in a plain, it's like a whitey cream, so that's all right. And then two kind of pale beige pillowcases because that pattern there is a similar colour. I promise. Um, again, king size, ready to go. I'm very excited to get that on. So I've got one lot of bed in, and the next one I kind of want it just plain white, and we're just going to have to keep Mia off the bed, no matter what. Um, I don't even know if she'll be allowed on this one, because that's got white bits in it. She's a chocolate dog. You're going to see the chocolate hairs no matter what. Um, and then last but not least, I might talk into these now actually. I can't believe I've saved this bag for since Sunday. Okay, so it's only a few days. Um, but I've saved this bag and I can't believe these lasted this long. And now we have it, a kind of basic Ikea haul. I think unless I'd have come back with a basket as well, you couldn't have got more simple. Um, and I can't actually use much of my purchases now, apart from I could probably put some pictures in the frames and I might put my wedding dress in the box to keep it under the bed and start tidying out the back room, back bedroom, so we can get ready to move into here as soon as possible. That being said, we do still need curtains or a blind or whatever we're having. Um, okay, so what I actually decided to do was put the lampshade back up. So there we go. One job ticked off. Now I'm going to put my wedding dress away. one almost finished bedroom update but until the mattress arrives there's not a great deal more we can do I can get the cabinets in but we kind of need them in the other bedroom Brent can put the radiator on the wall which he can that's fine um, and then we can get the shelves in um, that might take another week or so and then the mattress should be here and then I can dress the bed hopefully the curtains will be up and that'll be it I can start on another room in the house. Um, someone's gonna kill me. Which room could it be? There's a lot of half finished things, pro little projects around the house that need doing. So I might have to get them done first. But until I start a new room, thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Bye.